Oh, I know, throw the whole channel away. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to show you guys two different websites that I've um, passed by by watching a few YouTubers or a YouTuber's um, video. Her name is Andrea, and she did an online porosity test. And that is how I learned, and as well as I learned by Googling, looking for a hair typing test. And I wanted to do this test, and I wanted to show you guys online that, I wanted to show you guys, or even find out for myself, what exactly my hair type is, so online, so the web says, as well as I wanted to find out um, if my hair was truly low or high porosity. Because when I did the water test with, hyper, with my porosity, it said that I was low porosity. And now I'm gonna show you guys online what the porosity is. Then we're gonna go to another website to see what my hair type really is. So stay tuned for the video. So the site's name is porosity411.com. So that's where I'm gonna go based on the cursor. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down. First of all, for you guys that don't know, you can read exactly what this says, but it tells you what is hair porosity. In my opinion, my hair is low porosity which means my hair cuticles lay flat and tight around the cortex, resisting moisture and conditioning oils. Product builds up easily, making protein sensitive stuff, protein sensitive product, make my hair feel dry and brittle. Now as for high porosity, hair cuticles are prone to damage, breakage, and gaps that allow moisture to flow through the hair structure without retention. So pretty much high porosity people, their hair, um, goes into the strands easily but it also loses moisture pretty pretty easily as well however this is saying that the hair looks frazzled dry and coarse so is my hair really low i don't know so let's finish now i'm going to do the test and i'm going to just press start and let's follow the questions so do you have chemically treated hair no i don't how your hair how does your wet hair behave when manipulated can determine the elasticity and protein and moisture balance. Now, when my hair is wet, does it break immediately? Does it overstretch and does not fully retract or does it retract fully? It overstretches and does not fully retract. Um, how does your hair feel after you shampoo and deep condition? Well, for me, once I shampoo and deep condition, I think it feels soft, in my opinion. What happens when you use strengthening products? Strengthening products are formulated with proteins and ceramicide glue, whatever that is, to temporarily fill gaps in the cuticle. In the cuticle layer for more moisture retention and less breakage. If your hair becomes dry and, and brittle after using protein-rich products, you are likely protein sensitive. My hair is very much brittle and straw-like. How does your hair react when you wet it before washing? Well, does it repel water and takes a while to absorb? It absorbs immediately or it absorbs, it takes a while to absorb for sure. How often do you use heat styling tools? Well, not daily, weekly, occasionally. Heat styling does a blow dryer on low heat count. I want to say never because I don't put heat on my hair that often. It's more like maybe like a blow dryer on low heat if I really, really, really want to stretch it. So occasionally. Please provide us with your email address. Huh? Okay, no problem. Okay, so calculate my porosity. This is saying that my hair is high porosity. Okay. I thought that my hair was low porosity. Uh, based on the questions that they asked, it does kind of make sense. So that is my review of the porosity test. Okay, hair porosity has gaps and holes in the cuticle which allow too much moisture into your hair and releases, releases moisture quickly. It's the result of chemical or heat damage. They lie, because I don't have no heat damage. Color treating your hair requires that the cuticle be lifted in order to alter the melanin strands. And even though the cuticle is closed after the hair is rinsed and conditioned, the damage is already done. When your hair breaks easily with minimal effort, it's a sign of improper protein and moisture balance. So this will require incorporating protein rich products into your regimen. Okay, okay. Hmm. Texture quiz, texture quiz. 
this is asking for a texture quiz and I'm using naturally curly site I wanted to know if I can find out my hair type online um, and the first question they ask is what type of hair do you have coily what does your coils look like I don't think my coils look super tight like that I'd say medium how does your hair re react when you wet it before washing? It repels water and takes a while to absorb. How long is your hair when pulled straight? Half inch or less, half to two inches, two to ten inches or ten inches longer. I guess you guys can be the judge of how far my hair um, stretches. I think that, that would be almost like two to ten because that's more than two inches. So. Do not intentionally part your hair. Let it hang from your scalp and take a look in the mirror. Can you see your scalp without moving hair? No. Take a single strand from between your finger. Take a straight single strand. Take a single strand between your fingers, close your eye, then roll it between your fingers and what best describes your strand. Let's make sure this is one strand and let me close my eyes like it says it's a little bumpy on the road of the strand it's a little bumpy to me I hope they have something here I don't feel the strand between my fingers I can feel the strand between my fingers and the strand is slender pliable but I almost may forget it. it's there I can feel the strand between my fingers it is durable and hard to ignore well, this is saying that I am 4B. Okay. I've heard that before, but I think I'm 4B only at a part of my hair. I'm not 4B all over. So this is a really, really cool um, texture type quiz if you're into hair typing. I specifically say that I'm 4C because mo even in a wash and go, my hair tends to stand up. Like the back of my hair is definitely... 4C, one side is 4C, the next side is probably, I think this side is more 4C, this side is more 4B, and I have a little 4A in here, in this area. So this is why I would still consider myself 4C because the majority of my hair is 4C. But I wouldn't encourage people to texture type all the time. It's because it causes you to lose focus on truly what is beautiful hair. Just love it and run with it now if you're into texture typing the good part about texture typing is that you can almost still compare products with other persons of your similar hair type and you can know how to deal with your hair from there but it still depends because you can still have 4c texture and type as well as low porous most importantly i think you should focus more on if your hair is high or low porosity that would help you definitely figure out what you need to do with your hair how you can deal with it what type of products how you need to maintain if you need to cleanse a little bit more often so many different things you can do um so that's two different tests that i wanted to show you guys one with the type and one with the porosity both of them actually help really really well and they give you pretty much straightforward questions easy for you to understand but thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Girl, I wanna pull up on you right now. So baby, won't you send me your location? Let's focus on communicating. Cause I just need the time and place to come through.